When we're talking about assessment, one of the things we want to make sure that we're focusing on is assessing the process, not the product that is created. And that's a big switch for a lot of educators when we're talking to distance learning, online learning, or a one-to-one -one classroom. We have to understand that things have changed. And part of that change is we understand that learning happens in the process of creation, not the thing that was actually created. So we need to set up structures that allow us to capture learning during the process of creation. So here are some of the ways that I help teachers set that up. And you have to give it some structure. So when I have students who are creating something to show their learning, I want to assess the process. One of the ways we do that is we have kids storyboard out their thoughts or they're going to create some kind of prototype. And it's in that prototyping phase or that storyboarding phase that I can see and hear learning happening. So we've got to change our focus out of this idea of I'm going to assess some end product and I'm going to assess in the process of learning. So on your screen right now is a PSA storyboard that I have used with students where before they ever make their video or they make their product or even before they make their final writing, we're actually assessing the rough draft because that's where the learning is occurring. Here's another one that I've used. This is to help kids build an infographic where I want kids to visualize numbers. And I'm going to have kids fill this out. And it's not going to be complete. That's the actual creation stage. But I want them to tell me, this is why I'm putting this number here. This is what this number represents. Here's what this icon represents as part of my overall idea of representing numbers as images. And it's in that process that I can assess knowledge and understanding. Another one I like is here's just a simple form that I have students fill out when they want to build an animation or a model. There's all kinds of ways we can have kids build animations and models to show their understanding. But I want them to storyboard it out. I want them to think through the process. And it's in that thinking that I'm going to be doing my assessing. I don't really care about the final product. That The learning's already got done. The learning happens here in this moment where I can give them feedback, where I can see a student learning. I can assess knowledge and understanding in the process, not the product. Another one, here's another, oh, this is the same one. The, but one of the things I wanted to show you is the reason why this works is because when we have people go through the process, we have to understand this is how real work happens. This is one of my favorite videos that I like to show students. And it, this is a Pixar storyboarding mini documentary where they're storyboarding out a bug's life. And throughout this, I can't play it now because we don't have enough time, but you see the storyboarding process and you even see the process where they pitch their storyboard. So I want kids to storyboard out their process and then they have to pitch it to me, the teacher. In that pitch, that is where I'm assessing understanding. That's where I'm assessing knowledge. That's where I'm getting critical feedback is in the pitch. So by setting up your structure early and having students understand this, we are now assessing the process, not the product. And when it comes to assessing online, that's where we need to focus.